<laughs> Hello, it's uh, it's Saturday the old, uh, I can never remember the date. Anyway, it's Saturday and uh, I have woken up today oh, almost pain free. Yes, and, uh, and I don't care if it doesn't last, having one day uh, without being full of pain is uh, is good for me and, uh, and I'll accept that and enjoy it. So uh, today's vlog, some of it was filmed yesterday so you'll see uh, some of it was struggling a bit uh, but today uh, what a difference I feel. I feel oh, 10 years younger and uh, and really <laughs> and really uh, I'm really relieved and light and happy and uh, and those are all good things. I'm just doing my uh, mid-afternoon walk round to check that uh, the birds all have enough water and they've got enough food and that they're all healthy um, because they free range I think it's quite important just to to check that they're okay on a regular basis. And my helper's coming with me. Hello Monty! Lots of our birds are going through uh, the molt at the moment so this is their annual uh, losing of feathers, not all of them, they don't walk around with naked chickens, but uh, they lose an awful lot of feathers uh, and replenish them. So rather than looking oh, pristine and beautiful and white like the ones over there, they look tired and scruffy <laughs> and slightly scrawny, like this one here. Are you feeling a bit scrawny, my lovely? Are you? Even Big White has lost his long, his long tail feathers. He still looks splendid. Yes, you're still splendid, darling. Yes, you are. A very handsome chap. But yes, his long, his long and lovely tail feathers have come out and will be replaced with new ones uh, in due course. <coughs> Hasn't lost his voice though. <laughs> well, everybody looks like they have water and food and, uh, and are all quite happy. In fact, <laughs> they're looking very happy. Uh, so I've just been to pick up a couple of eggs from the uh, from the mixed flock, and uh, it's really interesting how, as the the older girls are laying less and less, and the younger girls are coming in to lay, the the colours in our egg boxes are completely changing from that sort of just pale beigey pink eggs to oh, just, just some fabulous colours. These two, oh, aren't they lovely? They're not quite chocolate brown, but nearly. They're, um, they're beautiful. They're the colour of, of rich, dark caramel. And they're laid by uh, the girls that we got from our friend Merv. And they're a cross between uh, Moran's father and uh, a well-summer well mother. And, uh, oh, they're just, they're just beautiful. And we're getting some some olives and uh, some really pretty pink colours. Now, obviously, they're not bright pink. Uh, although, you know, I know eggs eggs do come in bright pink where uh, where they've been the right kind of cross uh, that has happened, <laughs> and, and they and they lay very bright pink or slightly purpley colour eggs. Uh, but you know, there's some really nice egg colours coming through. Now, I would show you, but uh, I just. I've just sold two dozen eggs and um oh look <laughs> my helper is still with me <laughs> i thought he'd gone for a wander uh yeah so i just sold two dozen eggs and uh and the, these two that i've picked up are just the, the next ones uh for the next next box of eggs after yesterday's mammoth stint in the kitchen uh i've I've done a bit, little bit less in there today, and so today's harvest uh, is uh, just a chicken, and uh, well, no, not just a chicken. Hurrah, a chicken, uh, but a chicken and uh, and some more runner beans um, to go onto my harvest tally. 
and so today's total will appear here. But not only did I gather some runner beans, uh, I also gathered some uh, some French beans. Now these are the first that I've picked from uh, from this crop, and uh, <laughs> and they certainly weren't for saving. Mr J and I had them for lunch, and they were just so flavoursome. Uh, I'm really pleased I've grown them. And of course, I can't remember off the top of my head what variety they are, but I will look them up um, and make sure that I've, uh, I'll put that on the screen. Uh, highly recommend them. Taste fantastic. Uh, but obviously they don't go on to my total because uh, we've already eaten them. When I was watching the gardening programme the other day, they were saying that now is a good time. This is for the UK, obviously. Now is a good time to... Uh, pinch out the growing tips of pumpkins and uh, and squashes uh, so that uh, the plants can concentrate on developing you know, the, the few the few uh, fruits that it's got rather than uh, trying to grow forever and, and produce loads now which I think is brilliant if you've if you've got you know quite a few fruits on it you want to stop it uh, from diverting its energy too far but <laughs> I'm really reliant on our squashes this winter to um, to give us uh, quite a lot of food and and so far we've had three uh, of the jumbo squash and there are about five or six more or more on the plant that could grow so I don't know what to do I don't know whether to pinch out the growing tips stop it growing anymore and let it concentrate on uh, on growing the ones it's got or just leave it to do its own thing now it's not you know it would take no time at all to to pinch that out and uh, and to stop it growing more but look at this there are so many new fruits to come and they're growing really quickly and just I'm just thinking you know we haven't we don't have that many squashes harvested already that I can uh, be picky about <laughs> about how many there are so I think I'm probably being I'm probably being foolish but I'm going to leave them on I'm going to leave the growing tips and I'm just going to see just how many we go with because even if they're small uh, and only you know if they're only small squashes we can still use them and uh, and they'll they will still store throughout the winter and um, and I think that's what we need while I've got as far as the garden uh, I just thought now might be a good moment to look at that strawberry bed. Uh, do you remember I planted it up just a few days ago or last week or something? It wasn't very long ago. So the plants at, the plants at this end uh, I did a few days before the ones at the far end and apart from one or two like uh, that one over there is looking very dry and needs a, another drink uh, but the others are not looking too bad at all. In fact, they look they look like they're going to quite happily sit in that new bed. And uh, oh, I'm quite excited about the strawberries for next year. And I'm also going to plant up either one or two of these raised beds with raspberries. And um, I haven't quite decided which of them yet it'll be. Uh, one of the two nearest the nearest the house. Um, one of them's got corn in it, and the other one at the moment's got uh, corn in it. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah. So I haven't quite decided, but as soon as I, as soon as I've made that decision, I'll uh, I'll start getting the raspberry plants in. I've still got about ten pots of raspberries that we lifted from uh, Mr J's mother's house. Um, we sold that uh, two years ago uh, so these poor plants have been living in uh, in 10 inch pots and 
and have survived the uh, sparse watering I've given them uh, but that's mainly because it's been so rainy <laughs> but it would be great it would be really good to get those into the ground and uh, and then they can romp away uh, next year and uh, and that would be that would be our soft fruit sorted then uh, because we've got lots of blueberries and um, and the strawberries are sorted and to, to get the rest of the raspberries in the ground well that would just be wonderful and so yes we had a lovely lunch together mr j has gone up for a saturday afternoon snooze and i think i'm probably going to join him in a in a short nap this afternoon because well because i can that's it for today and uh, and as always wherever you are in the world and uh, whatever you're doing today i hope it's a gentle one and uh, and i also hope that you can join me again tomorrow Thank you.